In this video, we're going to be having a look at grouping together different rooms within our dwelling and seeing what types of schemes we can come up with. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using Modlet and then just above where my spaces are called, as we can see, they're all under model at the moment. We've got something under adjacent buildings, local shades, no different from last time. So what we're going to be doing now it's going to be hitting that nine squares here. And we're going to be creating a new grouping scheme, hitting the plus button. And I'm going to call this one type. This is probably one of the most common types of grouping scheme that we create in models. And in this type, I'm going to list the different uses of the building. Later on, when we begin to look at building templates, this will allow me to quickly select the different uses of the building. Other different things might be you group different uh, VRF units together under certain rooms, or if you're doing certain analysis and you have particular rooms that are consistently overheating, you might create a group that just collects those overheating rooms together to make up the speed of analysis quicker. So this is a dwelling, so the type of places that I'll have, I'll have corridor space or circulation, kitchen, Bedrooms, WC, slash bathroom, <coughs> lounge, and I'm probably going to have a study as well. Okay. So, all these spaces now, I can go down and I go to type, and we can see they've all been put in study. Actually, let's add on another one here. And I can highlight, I just want to quickly get rid of all of these superfluous ones here. They're not actually part of my model. So I'm going to go for properties and change those over. Sorry, properties. Square with four dots. And I'm going to change those over choosing that and change them over to other. <coughs> then I want to get all the bedrooms together. So I'm going to go to the text filter and this is useful if you're doing this a bit later on the project, maybe you've got quite a lot of rooms that need grouping up. I can just type in bedroom if I spell it right. There you go, bedroom. And all the bedrooms are selected. They are currently under study. I can move those over to bedroom, delete, and then there we go, back to here, roof I'm going to place under circulation space, actually let's do the corridor at the same time, WC, If you're doing this for quite a larger building, my suggestion is as you're going through the list is to place the very last one of your grouping schemes. So when you're doing this part here is to place the most common type of room that you have as the last on the list. And that will speed up this process. <coughs> okay, so that's done. What I might do is just change this single bedroom over to a study like that. Now what I can do at any given point is I can click on these definitions and I will automatically select all those rooms. The last thing I want to talk about while we're here is to talk about the different stories and the views. So uh, if for instance what I can do is I can change down to zero, zero or three or six and what this do, does is it changes the views that are visible or the rooms that are visible from the views that start from the rooms that start at that level so three meters six meters if you're having issues seeing certain parts of it then you might want to change levels or go to all stories 